very new. How new are we talking? Uh, I arrived uh, in Dubai three weeks ago um, and I started two weeks ago at the amazing Legoland Dubai Resort. Well, welcome to Dubai Thank and welcome you so to much. Legoland. How is it going? Incredible. Um, I, I, I've worked in this industry for, for 18 years, but I've always been in resort theme parks, so I get this opportunity um, to learn everything about Lego. So it's like being a child again. And at the same time, I've had my first opportunity to work overseas in the UAE and in Dubai. And it's just my, my senses are on overload and I'm learning and I'm speaking to people. And I just find that a real privilege to be given the opportunity to be able to have that and, and also do what we do, which is selling fun. Selling fun, I love that. Now, your electric energy coupled with the energy at ATM right now is crazy. <laughs> Can you tell us about your experience at ATM so far? Yeah, I, 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 was, I was here yesterday and, and my first ATM and I was sort of, okay, I've been to some travel shows before. This is on another level. Um, you can dream and you can dream big and you can dream wild and you can see the impossible being the possible here. And just to see some of the the stands and some of the, 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 the ideas is just mind blowing. And coming from an industry that is creative where we, we build amazing roller coasters and amazing hotels and we do things where people say you'll never be able to do that. This is sort of being a child again and just seeing some of those ideas. And it just motivates me and inspires me to think about we can do anything. And I work in that industry that just allows us to play with that. And, feeding off other people's imagination is, is brilliant. What are the most important objectives for you as GM of Legoland at ATM? Um, networking obviously is, is hugely important in our, in our industry and also just to, to understand um, the different markets, you know, understanding the GCC, understanding the international markets, obviously then the UAE market which is then broken down by multinationalities and just understanding how they all work together. And I think it's really important as a new GM into obviously the UAE is just to understand the differences, but also to, to get those contacts um, and to meet people and to form those relationships. And so we can then build a better Legoland Dubai resort and really sort of working through and saying, how do we get to some of those source markets to, to, to sell the resort and the hotel at the water park and theme park. Have you had any interesting conversations so far at ATM? Loads. Um, Lots of people talking about about what my sort of my goals are, and, and really for the first six months, I'm just I'm learning, I'm learning and learning and learning, and really then it's then saying, okay, how do we sort of look at those different source markets, certainly for the hotel, but how do we do things maybe slightly differently? What are what are the things that I need to maybe adapt and change the way you know we we, we have a saying now in in in, in the business which is. West isn't always best, yes. and I think that's really important. That you know, certainly as, as, as coming from the West, and you know, we sometimes roll everything out, and we now need to really take a step back and look at the local markets and look at you know across what works and what doesn't work, and what do we need to do differently. And that could be from food and beverage. It could be from you know looking at uh, other things with our parks and water parks are designed for, and how we communicate and how we talk to our guests. And that, and that to me is a an opportunity for me to learn and I'm, I'm privileged to be able to do that. Tim, what can we expect from you in the next couple of months of 2023? Well, we've got lots on at Legoland Dubai Resort. Um, we've got a relaunch of our uh, Lego Friends area, which will be more to come in that shortly. We've got brunch coming and that will be starting to, to launch. So yeah, really, really excited about that. And then we've got a, a whole season of events. We've had a couple of events already that have taken place, but we've got a list of events which you can see on our website. Um, obviously the old favourites and classics like Halloween and Christmas and we're going to be really supercharging those and ramping those up and then we're going to be really looking at how we can get into uh, markets into the summer you know we know that the hotel supports the water park and actually having you know we've got a, a swimming pool and a themed swimming pool at the back of the hotel but we've got a huge water park with over 20 slides and attractions in it private cabanas where people can have their sort of VIP experiences and we know that works really well because obviously coming from the UK summer's normally our big high season and it's roles reversed here so understanding that and knowing what works well and then we'll move into the winter and really then supercharge the theme park experience um, so lot, lots to come and uh, hopefully you'll see lots more coming from me in the, in the coming weeks and months.